Baby J Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube people champ, to do another reaction. We about to check out this Logan Paul, Seth Rollins interview where they will answer the question: Is Dominique Mysterio, Dirty Dom, the greatest heel ever? Hi, Lick. J Rock has come back. What is happening in and in and in with the million? <laughs> and millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, baby. J-Rock is here, man. We're about to ch check out this quick interview between Seth freaking Rollins and Logan Paul on his podcast where they were talking about Dominique Mysterio. Dirty Dom. And they were answering the question, is Dominique Mysterio the greatest heel ever? We're going to check this thing out. But before we do, make sure you lay up L, smack it down it on thy subscribe button. Give that thumbs up. Let me know you're enjoying the content. Any special thanks, super thanks, you want to send J-Rock away. All right, any amount, doesn't matter what it is. J-Rock will greatly appreciate it. Thank you from the bottom of the people's heart. But we're not going to waste some more time, baby. It's showtime. So cool to see the character development and see people find themselves in the WWE. I mean, you obviously yep. had multiple versions of that. I think yep. the one you're on right now is awesome. Thank uh, you. Roman Roman's doing his thing right now, but but he found that. I got to see Dom Mysterio mm -hmm. do it in real time. Yep. He we had our first WrestleMania together, right? And now he's got the most heat in the WWE. Man. Oh yeah. And yeah. Watching, he does. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. He watching do. Dom turn against his dad and, and, and grow out his mullet. Like, oh, the yeah. longer that mullet got, the more <laughs> evil he got. Yes. <laughs> and, and he got even more tattoos at the time. It's yeah. He yeah. literally like evolved into this thing that now works. Yeah. So is that what it is? Is it just throwing shit at the wall until the audience reacts, clicks with something, and then you run with it? Yeah, dude. I mean, you can you can like best laid plans. You know, you can come up with this great idea, but if 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 the way you see it isn't the way other people see it, it's not gonna work. And that's not just wrestling. That's everything, right? You got these this vision for what. And sometimes WWE's got a reputation for kind of like forcing things, but as characters yeah. it's on us to figure out it's our brand like yes they are you know WWE's the, the the overarching theme but like I'm I have to take responsibility for myself and WWE gives us the autonomy to be able to do that because we have these live events we have TV every week we get to if something if we hear something not everybody's going to hear that if we see something not everybody's going to see that about us they can't keep track track of all of these people in every single second of everything they do so like you know, you could kind of see, I, I wrestled Dom in his first match. And speaking of the pandemic, I wrestled him in his first match on live television. We did this great story with the Mysterio family that no one probably ever saw. I Brian saw it. obliterated this kid yes. with uh, a kendo stick. Like, obliterated <laughs> him, dude. I J-Rock says this. Go look up Dominique Mysterio versus Seth Rollins at SummerSlam, I think, 2020. Yo, that match was, yo, it was, that match was fire. It was fine. You can find the, the images online. I mean, I just annihilated him with it. And uh, it built to this match with him and I at SummerSlam. It would have been 2020 probably. And uh, it, it was wonderful to see where he was then, you know, potential. And he was a, a good guy. He's a baby face. He's just straight white meat. I'm Rey Mysterio's kid and all that. And you could, uh, for me, I knew. I remember I was sitting in a live event not long ago. And he was getting just booed out of the building. And one of our producers, um, Hurricane Helms, was sitting there with me. And he's like, he's like, can you? He got a little bit of a lisp. He's like, uh, he's like, if you'd have told me six six months ago he's gonna be a top heel in the business, would I would you believe it? And I was like, <laughs> yes. I I that's the visionary part. I could see this coming. I'm like, he's he's because he's not like he's not built to be a baby face. He's Rey Mysterio's kid. Like. He's the same thing, like people think he's getting handed everything, you know, being raised kid. And like, it's so easy to want to hate nepotistic jerks, right? It's so easy to want to, pe people like digging off their family name, it's easy to hate that. And I'm like, the, like they're gonna love him at first, but eventually it's all gonna come back around. But the, the, the risk is, so you said, you know, you, you were concerned being booed, and you're not alone in that. People don't like that sometimes. It's a hard pill to swallow, you know? Like, you don't want it's hard for you to not feel like it's At personal first for sure 
sure. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so unnatural to yeah. be like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so for him to be able to feel that, take that in, and then apply it every single week and trust the people around him, to t you know, telling him exactly what to do, to be able to do that and then turn it into where it is now, where he can't, like, can't pick up a microphone to say words. No. Because it blew him out of yes. the Yes. See, this guy's it's right. fantastic. Dude. He what? raises it to his mouth, yeah. and, it, and he, he literally can't talk. He probably can't even hear himself no. when he's talking. Yeah. This dude, Dominic Mysterio, he's got he's the hottest heel in WWE. Maybe in all of, of sports entertainment right now, J-Rock says. He literally can't talk. He takes the microphone. And he'll say one, maybe two words. The boos are so loud, they drown out the audio in the whole arena. Like, it's hard to hear him. That's how hard he gets booed. They can't stand this dude. And so, I know it's going to be even worse now that he's the NXT North American champion. Because that was somewhat unexpected, but... If you think about it, J-Rock says, you can see it coming. But, dude, he, yeah, he can't even talk without getting booed out the damn building. And it's so fun <laughs> to watch. And here's the thing is, like, I'm with him on these live events all the time, and he's a sponge for information. So, like, I'll tell him something. Hey, you should check this out. Watch yourself do this. This is maybe a better way to do it. And he'll apply it the next day. And it works, and he's like, oh, light bulb. And then you could just see the little things that he does every single step of the way start to improve. You gotta remember, he's still like 23 years old. He's a very young cat, man. So he's still like growing into his body. He's learning, you know, how to do this thing and like trying to fill. Again, we talked about Rey Mysterio earlier on, one of the greatest of all time. You can't fill those shoes, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. You will never be able to. I can't imagine the pressure that that, that, that puts cool. on you. So for him to be able to develop himself as something completely different yeah. than his dad, that's got to take so much weight off of his shoulders. He doesn't have to be his father. He can be his own thing, yeah. and that's, that's fantastic. See, you know what's, what's tricky about the heel thing for me? It's like... In basketball or football, right, you, you have away games, but eventually you're going to go home. For you, or, or like for, for heels in this space, every night is an away game. Uh-uh. Well, I went to Cleveland. I didn't, didn't they still boo you there? A little, but not, <laughs> not, not, little not, not even but, nearly as but, much. But well, I they didn't hate you as much in Cleveland. Yeah. No, it's just, that's just the hometown. But I, I wanted to say, the reason why I, I feel like it might be a tougher adjustment for someone like you is like, these guys go out there under a moniker. You know, if the Undertaker, obviously not him, but if somebody's a heel at any given time, their character is a heel. He goes out, his real name's Logan Paul, he goes out as Logan Paul. Yeah. So when he gets booed walking into a place, like in a way, like you're adjusting to the idea that they're booing you. And the only thing that he's ever done in life was played a character. He's never played a character before this. It's always been him. So, and, so, and, but, so, but, you, but so you've had to like part. detach, yeah, you've had to like kind of detach yourself from the idea that they don't like you that's true and started to come around to the idea that they don't like the character that you play in the WWE you said it exactly and I realized that the, the noise the booze the cheers that's the currency that's what I'm getting right, paid right. to yeah. do that's why I'm there that's it if they're silent that's, that's lame and I'm, 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 I'm gonna get fired if they're cheering it's not as fun for the type of guy I am <laughs> at the moment uh, but can they can you ever, but could they ever turn him into a, a Maybe absolutely maybe absolutely absolutely <laughs> but but so so you kind of touched on that a little bit like uh so but it's hard because wrestling like you mentioned but play characters we do but it is hard to understand that because the, wrestling's like this weird in between area for characters and real people because the best characters in wrestling are personalities just turned way up yes and like it's not, yes. it's just not, like, they don't, our audience does not see us the same way as George Clooney in a movie. For sure. You know, if George Clooney goes out and has, like, a stinker in a movie, like, people just go, oh, bad George Clooney movie, oh, well, it's probably not his fault. He still did great, so whatever. Like, right. he, like, he's not fully judged on, like, the character, the content of the character in that movie. If he's, like, a scumbag in there, like, no one's like, oh, I hate George Clooney now because he played this rotten mob boss in this movie like they're just like oh wow george clooney killed it he was so good 
But like wrestling's weird because there's like this like I I was just on the Today Show the other day. I go as Seth Rollins. I don't go as Colby Lopez. You know what I'm saying? So like it's this weird. It's it's this. His it's real name cool by the way. Because it's the only thing that it's like that that is like. But it's also weird and creates some some strange mental processes going on. You're, with, lo- you're locked into it. Yeah. You're tied, you're tied to it. Yeah. It's it's a funky world we live in. Hey guys. Well, like that, J Rock says this. Um, is Dom Mysterio, Dirty Dom, the greatest heel ever? j Rock won't go that far, okay? He's just getting started. We don't know what is to come. But when j Rock thinks back throughout WWE, WW, WCW, WWF history, whatever the case may be, there are some heels that j Rock will have to say, um, not very many, but there are a couple heels that j Rock would say, yeah, he's probably a, a greater heel than Dom. Now, J-Rock will say this. Dominique Mysterio is the only heel that I could remember maybe outside of Vince McMahon. Maybe. That when he goes to talk, he literally gets booed so loud you can't even hear the audio. Like, the boos are that loud. The only other the only other heel that I could think of that it was that bad for was Vince McMahon. Like, people hated Vince McMahon. Started with the, you know, Brett screwed Brett thing. And then, you know, a lot of people didn't know Vince was the owner. I didn't. I thought he was just a commentator. But the more and more you saw him get in front of the camera, you're like, wait a minute. This jabroni is more than, like, what is this? What is he doing? Then you come to find out, no, he's the owner. Like, oh. Crap, he owns the place? I didn't know he was like that because they just treated him like a regular dude. But when he morphed into the you know the character Vince McMahon on screen, that to me is probably the greatest heel because it's something J-Rock says people can relate to. Having a boss who is, you know, uh, dictating, you know, lording over you, rules with an iron fist. You probably don't like working for him, but you got bills to pay. People can understand that. So that's what part one of the reasons why Stone Cold became arguably the greatest WWE superstar ever. Because we live vicariously through Stone Cold. We all wanted to give our boss a boot in the gut, drop him on that stack of dimes he calls a neck. Wham! Stone Cold Stunner. We all wanted to do that. But J-Rock says we didn't do it. Then The Rock came along. He had he got himself a piece of him. Triple H got a piece of him, but they had switch roles at that point. So um, some characters I would say greater heels. Obviously Vince McMahon when he was uh, a heel. People don't forget that um, uh, that when Sergeant Slaughter when he went heel when he was Mr. USA, you know Sergeant Slaughter, you know, and that's in order. Then he went with Colonel Mustafa, and he started, you know, burn. I think they burned the American flag on live TV, and he started, you know, supporting Iraq. Like, that dude was literally getting death threats. Like, it's one thing to be a heel that people don't like you on the screen. People were literally wanting to kill Sergeant Slaughter. Like, his family was being threatened. Like, no joke. So... He was a greater heel than Dom. Vince McMahon was, in my opinion, more so on screen than off. Um, oh, I can't forget the the camel clutch. He passed. He just recently passed away. Um, damn, I can't forget his. I forget his name on top of my head. He was he was uh, feuding with Sergeant Slaughter. Um, he had the curvy boots. I can't forget his name. Um, you know, he had to, he spoke with the, with the Iraqi, you know, the, you know, and that just ticked people off. But I think he was a better heel. When Hulk Hogan went heel, bro, that was some real heel heat like that. Mr. Eat Your Vitamin, Say Your Prayers, you know, believe in yourself, the 24 inch pythons. When he went to the black, when he went from the red and yellow to the black and white, but Dom is definitely one of the greatest heels of all time already. And he's basically just getting started. Like, people hate him. He's teamed up with Mommy and, you know, and the, the Judgment Day. But, yo. But J-Rock says this. Who do you think is the greatest heel ever? Is it Dom? Is it Vince McMahon? Is it, you know, uh, Sergeant Slaughter? 
It's a Hulk Hogan. You know, I know The Rock. Turned, like when The Rock joined the corporation, he picked, he pissed a whole lot of people off. But he was so entertaining, like you couldn't help but like him. So it's hard to really, it's hard to really say, yeah, you hated The Rock because he was just so good, so entertaining, so electrifying that the booze just all, almost instantly turned to cheers because they hated him. Uh, but let J-Rock know who you believe is the greatest heel of all time. J-Rock thinks that Vince is the greatest heel ever. But I'll, you know, um, digress and let you guys say. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what's thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for the next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. Rip your smile! What J-Rock is cooking.